Welcome back to, ta-da, 3D printing. Everyone's been talking about speed and how fast can the Prusa XL go. Brandon Houghton had suggested printing a simple octagon and then speeding it up and clearly marking that so we can see if there's any artifacts and what happens at different speeds. So I designed this in Tinkercad and because I'm slightly impatient, I went in 20% increments. So 100%, 120% speed, on and on. And with help from Brandon, I modified the G code on each of these different increments so that it would automatically speed up for me. I don't have to wait around and mess with the dial and it'll be very exact. Usually I just run a print and then do another complete print sped up. So I've never done it this way before where I'm speeding it up in the G code. And I was a little surprised that each time that I added that increment increase, the print time did not change. But I did look around online and they said that that's very common, that it does actually speed up. So I went ahead and sliced it. These are the default speeds for the 0.32 layer height with the 0.6 nozzle that it starts with at the 100% speed. I print mostly in PLA, so that is what this is, Overture PLA in white. Still the standard 0.6 nozzle and I did 0.32 layer height because that's what it seems like the majority of my prints are right now. I am very hopeful as I'm printing this that this is just going to be the magic bullet that I can just speed things up to 160%, something like that, and that everything is going to print the same. But as you can kind of start to see, as it's speeding up on those higher numbers, it's not looking good. So let's see what we think. Clearly 200, 180 are not going to work, but as I look closer, I'm pretty disappointed. 160, 140 does not look good. The, the corners do not look good. I did print this with 5% infill because I wanted to go fast, but I just, I, I'm so disappointed. Even the 120, I don't think will work. Let me know your thoughts. What would you try next to speed this up? Or are we just going to have to wait for input shaping in order to be faster? Thanks for watching.